In this video, we'll be adding up three vectors graphically. The first thing we'll need to do is make a scale so that these vectors will fit on the page. I'm going to make five meters equal to one centimeter on my page. So 45 meters, when converted out of meters into centimeters, will be nine centimeters. 25 meters, when converted, will be five centimeters. And 35 meters, when converted, will be seven centimeters. All right, now all these vectors should fit nicely onto my page. The next thing to do is select a spot to start. Now, on my paper, higher up is going to represent north, south will be down, east to the right, and west to the left. I see my first vector goes east and north, so to the right and up, then down, then down to the right. Nothing goes to the left. So maybe I'll start in the middle of the page, but a little bit towards the left. My first vector is 60 degrees east of north. So I'm going to need to draw in a north line. I measure 60 degrees east of that. I hold my protractor. So at 0 degrees at north. I look over here. Here's 60. I'll put a dot there. Now this vector has to be 9 centimeters long. Um, so we'll do vector A in the teal color and we'll make it nine centimeters long. All right, I'll label that vector A and never forget to put the arrowhead on the end of your vector. Next we'll try vector B. Vector B should be five centimeters straight south. So I can do that with just my ruler, point it straight down and draw a line five centimeters. Vector C now is 7 centimeters at 20 degrees south of east. So first thing I'll have to draw in is an east line. Okay, I'll hold my protractor with 0 degrees on east, and I have to be 20 degrees south of that. Okay, so this should be 7 centimeters long. And I'll label that vector C. Now my resultant goes from where I started all the way down to where I ended. So make sure you use a, ro a ruler to get a straight line. And I'm going to label it R for resultant. Okay. Now to get the magnitude of my resultant, I have to measure how long it is. You can see it's about... 15 centimeters long. So don't forget, one centimeter was five meters. So that comes out to be about 75 meters. Next, I'm going to have to measure an angle. So here, maybe I'll draw an east line. I could have drawn a south line also, but I'll do east this time. And I'll hold my protractor up to that. And I can see it measures about 11 degrees. Okay. Notice that's measured how many degrees south of east. And so now I'm ready to write my final statement. My resultant is 75 meters at 11 degrees south of east. Now remember, the graphical approach is an estimate because it relied on us drawing with a pen, or in this case a marker, and using a protractor, and all our measurements are going to have some little bit of error in them. And so our resultant won't be exactly correct. 75 meters at 11 degrees south of east is close enough for most cases. But if we want to get an exact answer, we'll have to use the algebraic approach, which we'll use in the next lesson with the same problem. And we'll be able to see how close we actually came.